York City. This is HQ. I didn't mean to use McConaughey's catchphrase because I'm actually quizzing you Spears tonight and I'm gonna quiz you baby one more time. Okay, I know, I know. I'm really just Sarah Priebus, but you drive me crazy. I just can't sleep. Are you so I really excited? miss Scott. You're in too deep? You must be. Really Friends, miss it's Scott. It's Friday night. Do you have big plans this weekend? Or is it uh, your big me wrong. plan? I like Sarah. To just, two tonight? I mean, Scott. What are or Jimmy we playing for? $2,000? If you're joining us for the first time, welcome. But seriously, like, where have you been? You're missing out. If you're one of those people who just can't stop playing, you gotta play us all the time. You're a slave for HQ. Okay, okay, all right, I'm done, I promise. Let's Maybe. go. Get the job started. We have almost 700,000 players in the game tonight. One of the reasons Good why I liked Jimmy Kimmel last night. My mom. Hi. He was Hi, quick. Mrs. Priebus. Hello. And really the HQ quick. Discord chat. Loretta Robin, we were done Gavin playing Ray, around Anna this time last and night. Baron Bouchard. Here Take it forever. You don't know them. Let's go. You have 10 questions. I lied. You have 12 questions. I'm sorry. It's harder. What you have is 10 seconds to tap your answer. If you get them all right, then you win the game and you get some cash. Don't overthink it, okay? Save right. that brain energy for the game, which is starting now. Question one. Finally. The 76 Threes Company was about three people who were what? Roommates? <laughs> trivia show hosts. Trivia show hosts. Now, if anyone's watching right now, Jack, don't don't think I'm like Sharon a genius because be I'm Janet, probably gonna get out real and, soon. I know you'd think that like, I'd want to play Chris real soon, but Emma can have that part because I really, really, really. But I'm pretty sure I got that one right. If you answered roommates, you're in good company, and six hundred and seventy thousand nice. of you are nice. moving in closer to the top. Comment if you'd watch a trivia host sitcom. I think that'd be pretty funny. Q two. What gargantuan fruit is the subject of a rolled doll children's book? Dragon fruit, loquat, or peach? Oh my Man, god, I have no idea. I had a lot of good reads. Do you remember those? Do you I'm remember gonna go with dragon fruit Matilda, because it's a dragon. Peaches, the BFG, James and the giant peach. Oh Did no. Did you press peach? Peach is the correct. <laughs> hey, at least the under well, four thousand uh, also picked that. Five hundred thousand of you are. So I I, I don't know so I never I didn't fucking know that book. Q3. Just so you know, I'm more. That was that was bad. That was quick. Myself, but here we go. That was really quick. Which of these countries is closest to the international date line? If anyone wants to use my referral Brazil, code. Or Spain. I six hit man. Give me some lives so I can keep line. playing while I'm streaming. Well, I gotta tell you, after I broke up with international my boyfriend, Dateline, a couple of HQ I only saw two of those. Ago, maybe you're watching. I've been uh, thinking of calling this Japan. number instead of using Bumble and finding me a nice Brazilian. It's Japan. But the answer is Japan. Yeah. Did you press Japan? Did no. You I couldn't. Because I have no fucking lives. Getting closer to the line. I need more lives. What the international date line is, though, it's an wow. imaginary line. A lot of people got that wrong. the change of one calendar day to the next. Let's Holy. Go on to Q4. That was a savage question. Aside from blood cells, what would you also find inside your blood vessels? Plasma, marrow, or plastids? You know, plasma? I'm really surprised that tacos aren't a choice here. Man, these are you like know, really tough tonight. Tacos I eat, Usually I they're sure like, they what's one plus vessels. one? But the correct answer is plasma. All it's right. Plasma. Did you tap plasma? Uh, no, but I said plasma. You are feeling bloody good about that one. And if you're wondering, plasma is that yellowish liquid that carries the blood cells. It's pretty important stuff. Yeah, yeah, Keep yeah. Up. What word describes joining a cause just to feel good about it? Joinerism, gung fo, or slacktivism? Joinerism? Gung fo, or slacktivism? No hmm. clue. That was well, a guess. That was it's a real like guess. You know, joining the gym in January, I feel good about joining. Join a, yeah. And then I slack in actually going. The answer is oh. slacktivism. 
And it's also wow. a exciting competition. Uh, 41,000 of you are not slapped. Well, a lot of people got that wrong. So. Kind of a fierce question here. Yeah, a little uh, bit. You know, I agree. It's my favorite thing I because agree. it requires little time or involvement. It's really the ideal form of activism. Let's move on to Q6. Which game is an example of combinatorics? Risk. What? Crossword puzzles or Sudoku. Are you good at these? Do you know what combinatorics means? Sudoku? Did you risk it all and pick crossword puzzles? Because if you did, you're going to have to leave six across blank. The answer is Sudoku. Oh, Sudoku? shit. Combinatorics is a math field. Oh, 29, shit. 29,000 of you are on top of their game tonight. All right. All yeah, right. It's a math field. It's primarily concerned with counting and abstract algebra and things too abstract for me. We're going to just move on to Q7. What book that heavily influenced The Matrix makes a cameo in the movie? Necromancer, Simulacra and Simulation, or Gravity's Rainbow? I have no the idea. Matrix. Neuromancer makes a cameo. Mr. Anderson. That was a Do not try and bad impression. You. That's impossible. Only try to realize the truth. There is no spoon. <laughs> so that best embodies simulacra and simulation. The correct answer is simulacra uh, and simulation. It also makes an appearance as a secret book safe that stores Neo's hacking contraband. Do you remember that? 8,950 really? of you are bending their minds I don't think I to fucking move got forward. That. And that was also a fierce question. Wow. No, the word is wow. savage, okay. lady. Savage. 8,950 of you moving on to Q8. The 90s band, The Lightning Seeds, took their name from which song? Raspberry Beret. Purple Rain or When Doves Cry. Do you remember the 90s band, The Lightning Seeds? Never heard of The Lightning Rock Seeds. the cash bar. Walk the cat walk. Rock the cash bar. Do, do you ever miss your lyrics like that? Well, the founder of The Lightning Seeds misheard the <laughs> ones Triggered. in... Raspberry I'm triggered too, bro. Raspberry Beret. Yeah, the correct answer is Raspberry Beret. He thought the lyrics said the thunder drowns out what the lightning seeds, but it oh, actually man, was the I thunder no drowns out what the lightning seeds. And 2,559 of you were not missing anything tonight. You're moving on. Another fierce question. <laughs> fierce after fierce after fierce tonight. Q9. Here we go. Are you ready? Which of these sharks is not a lamniform? Goblin shark, great white shark, or hammerhead shark? Great white Ooh, shark. Do you know what that is? Which is not a lamb. Because a form. shark. Nah, a shark so is. A, I, I don't know. I not want to touch any of these guys. Ooh. Shark eats meat. You really? Right? Can't touch this. Hammerhead shark. MC Hammerhead shark. Ah, uh, why? What's the Did reasoning? You hammerhead? No. 926 of your Jesus HQ Christ. sharks. Still, tonight. a lot of people. Yeah, they're. Uh, a lot of people the leaving there. old mackerel sharks. So friendly. Uh, one of the larger families. They have uh, the Megalodon, which is now extinct, and the Megamouth, which is a real shark. But a Megamouth, you know, that's also me. So let's just move on to q -tech. All right. Pixies, Bonnie Bear, Iron and Wine, and Bauhaus were all once signed to which record label? Sub Pop, 4AD, or Geffen? Never heard of any of these guys. Are you a music buff? Any music buffs out No there? music buffs. Video games. Did you tap 4AD? Because the correct answer is... For a D. You 327 people, that you listen to me, you're all fucking guessing. The There's no way anyone knows that British shit. Independent. It is a British independent record label. What question was that? Part of the Are we, group was that 11? Indie labels. They've hosted a very eclectic range of music since 1980. Maybe you recognize the Thievery Corporation Dude, as well. I, I'm right. totally starting to agree. 11. How totally you starting to agree. Which famous artist suffered many health problems leading to a condition named after him? Mito, Pollock, or Toulouse Lutrec? Pollock? I don't know. Pollock. Yeah, and Mito. I swear, there's got to be cheating going on. Is it? Well, the only health condition <laughs> that might I want to cheat too. I don't know. Like, is the one that involves taking too many I guess. And eating too but many then tacos. that's how this game is ruined then. Because everyone's going to be doing it. Toulouse 
Low trade. They have to do. You they have to figure out a way to stop check. cheaters. One hundred and seventy of you are. Which I don't happy. think there is a way. And moving on to the final question, because this is it. The last question. Q12. The one you all All right. Up. It all comes down to this. Pride and glory. Here we go. She's not anticlimactic at all. In which town were a president, governor, senator, NFL owner, and late night host all born? Brookline, Massachusetts. Hope, Arkansas. Brookline. Muncie, Indiana. No idea. Where Just because my boys in born. Boston live in Brookline. Well. Boom. I'm going to go I'm Brookline. from Montgomery County, Pennsylvania. And Jill Biden's from there. That's almost like a president. Okay. No, we're it's not a vice president. competing. If you've heard of Brookline, maybe it's because JFK was born there. Hope, Arkansas. JFK First was born in Brooklyn. Bill Clinton and Governor Huckabee, and that's about it. Oh. But Robert Kraft, Bobby Kennedy, and Conan O'Brien all hail from Boston. The correct answer is Brooklyn, oh, what? Massachusetts. Okay, uh, yeah. And we have my boy Ray. 61 my boy women. Ray and his crew up in Brooklyn, <laughs> Massachusetts. I don't know. Is Derek D. Smooth from there? I don't think so. He's from Massachusetts. But I don't think he's from Brookline. All right, how many we got? I never actually saw the number. Oh my goodness. 61, 61 all right. You are At least cash. you guys just random cash out your winner. money. Was this a random win for you? $32.79. No, I think a lot of people Alan are cheating. Nico? Is your name Alan? Uh, MS Loger X. Did Anyone you just... that doesn't oh, have a profile picture is cheating. Married? Did you throw a bunch of letters from the alphabet? Because humans want pictures, so like for this for this everyone. case right here, you, you can look at it, lucky. see who won. You're a star. I but you're all know. stars in my eyes. Stay in touch. I love hearing from you. My social media handles are Scott. Come Sarah back, Pervis. Jimmy Kimmel. Write, come back. Free Scott enough times on my post. Yeah, thirty-two bucks. Release them in time. That's above the twenty-dollar no uh, limit. No promises. HQ is live every day at nine p.m. Eastern, six p.m. Pacific, and weekdays at three p.m. Eastern, noon Pacific. When I'm not with you, I lose no. my mind. You need to go. Have a fabulous go. Friday, and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Yeah, so weekend, weekends it's on at 9. Uh, Saturday at 9, Sunday at 9. The Sunday at 9 show is the highest one of the week. Uh, I think it's like $10,000. I think that's what the Sundays are. Chris, uh, New Year's Eve is $12,000. Um, but Sunday nights are usually the, the biggest episodes. Um that's usually I also stream those nights, so that's when I'll that's when I'll be back for the next HQ stream. But uh, use that fucking uh, use my referral code, please, guys. Where is it? Right here. Use this referral code right here, right there. Yeah, help a brother out, get some free lives. Yeah, and don't forget to hit my uh, uh, follow my channels there. Yeah, ten thousand on Sunday. It's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. One day, one day I'll win this game. For this, I got was like, I think it was seven, and then once I got uh, eleven out of the twelve, I just got one wrong, and I I thought I had a life, and it didn't it didn't cash in, like it was glitched out. So like I could have technically won one game, but that was a long time ago. I haven't come close since. <laughs> All right, uh, mod chip. Thanks a lot for uh, mod chimp. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, I'll catch you Sunday. Do Magic Sunday next uh, HQ stream. Later, guys.